Hi everyone, um, I'm Trevor and this is my channel, Trevor Doodles, and welcome. This is a channel where I draw and try to talk at the same time. It's not as easy as it sounds. And so, let's get started. Let's do this. All right. Let's draw some more bamboo. I like bamboo. It's pretty easy. And I'm starting to get the hang of this pen. Let me put my glasses on. Oh, nice pretty little line. Another pretty little line. Back down here. Blah, blah, blah. So, what has been going on? What have I seen on YouTube lately? Um, oh, yeah. This morning, I checked out what's trending. And one or what was it? Five million likes in 16 hours. And it's just this little cartoon of that somebody made on their computer and narrated it. And it's just why you shouldn't be afraid of spiders. Like, what in the world? How does that get? Five million likes in 16 hours. That's a lot of freaking likes. Just so you're not afraid of spiders. It was called um, Spiders and Bees. It was kind of cool. I watched it. I tried to watch it to the end, but it got kind of boring. But it was a good video. I mean, that guy spent a lot of time making that video. So, kudos to him. And apparently everybody liked it. I thought it was a little odd. But then again, who am I to judge? Um, what else is going on? Uh, I just got home from work. Well, I got home from work about an hour ago. And I was feeling a little tired, so... I just finished watching Wonder Woman. Which is such a wonderful, wonderful movie. I can watch it again and again and again. It has so many wonderful moments of reveal. My favorite moment is when she's at the front line and she's wearing that coat, and she just looks like this helpless little woman. And then she takes her coat off, and she's Wonder Woman. And then she goes on the front line, and everybody's like, Who the hell is this lady? What is she doing? She's crazy. But she did it. And it was awesome to watch. Watch everybody freak out and say, Oh my god, this is happening. This is happening right now. Everybody get in it to win it. Okay. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom, ba boom, boom. I don't know what else to talk about. It's hard to talk and draw. I've already explained that. But what else? Um, Jeez Louise, Mary Catherine Gallagher, just interesting names. Hmm, um, leaves, do some leaves. Everybody likes a leaf, leaves are awesome. A little oak leaf, my oak leaf bamboo stuff. I'm just gonna link to you right there. And another leaf. 
Um, so I think I already talked about Shazam. Oh, what's what's the other one? The other one I saw. Oh, what was it? Give me a second. It'll come to me. I just watched it this afternoon. It was a movie trailer. For... Oh, come on, brain work. Um, the Avengers? Is that the one? The one with Captain Marvel? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's that one. So anyways, I saw a commercial for it the other day, and it's the Desperate Housewives of New York. They're outside of a Blockbusters, and like, Captain Marvel comes crashing through the ceiling, and the housewives are arguing about who's going to go and help her as their, like, shoes are falling. I was like, oh, I don't want to hurt my stilettos. Let me get these off first. It's like, how the hell does the Desperate Housewives get involved with a movie like that? <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious. Maybe that's how they got involved, because everybody would think it'd be funny. And yes, it was quite funny. It was very amusing. Hmm. Well, there's that. What else did I see today? Oh, the Jonas Brothers. Apparently, they're they're still around. I vaguely remember them. But they are on. They were the second most popular video. And they're all, like, so freaking cute. I mean, the only thing I can think of that might be cuter than a Jonas Brother is my dog monster. I mean, he's just so, he's so cute. He's so cute. He's just so cute. I love him. But that's, that's just my dog. And so, of course, I think he's cute. Some people think he's weird looking. I guess he is, but in a cute and adorable sort of way. Just outlining some things, doing some things. Oh, and so it's time for daylight savings. I love this time of year. The days get longer, which I love. I hate all this darkness and gloom. Nobody wants to leave their house or do anything. But I did a little research, and daylight savings happened in World War I. I always thought it had something to do with farmers and getting up early and their kids working for them and stuff like that. But no, it all started with World War I. And daylight savings was to help conserve energy so people could continue like building the war machine without it having to use lighting for electricity or whatever. So that's where it started. And then after World War I, it ended. And then World War II happened, and they brought it back to save energy. And then they were going to stop it, but the... The what? Like stores and stuff. They were getting quite a boost of people shopping, because it was when they got off work at like 5, it was still daylight. And they could go shopping and stuff before they went home. And if they stopped daylight savings, people would go home early because it's getting dark out. So daylight savings is the summertime, and regular time is in the winter. So if we stop daylight savings, summer days won't be as long as they are right now. So I am no longer for ending daylight savings here in Florida, because that's up for... A thing they're gonna vote on it so I'm no longer for it because I really enjoy the long days of summer 
I can deal with the winter. I don't like it, but it is what it is. At least the daylight savings is something to look forward to as you go through the winter. It's like it's coming. It's right around the corner. Uh, is that enough bamboo? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, less is more, so no more bamboo. That's always a good rule. Especially when you're wearing bracelets, which I'm kind of getting into. Wearing bracelets. But you always got to take one off because you might think it looks cool, but you're wearing too many. Always take one off. Unless you're just wearing one. Then, you know, you can leave that. And blah 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 what else to talk about? I don't know. Uh do 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 let me color something in. I need some something dark over here. Things might as well match. Let me finish this first. Boom, boom. What else can I talk about? I don't know. I truly do not know. My mind is a bit of a blank. I just got off work, so usually I do this on my days off when I get up and I'm nice and relaxed and I can just really concentrate, but after a hard day's work, this gets kind of it's kind of difficult. But I'm really into this drawing and I wanted to work on it a little bit more, so I'm doing the best I can with the talking part. What else? Oh yeah. Um, um oh, I can't remember her name. And it's really important to the story. Uh shoot, I'll say that for later. I gotta go look it up. I wrote it down in my phone so I wouldn't forget it. And I don't have my phone on me, so I'll save that for later. What else? Something, something, something. Um, I don't know. The sun's out. The weather's getting nice. Don't really appreciate all the pollen. Now I got this one kid at work, and he has such a strong allergy that he can't talk when there's a lot of pollen in the air. It, like, ruins his throat. And it's kind of funny because... Any other time, he is one of those non-stop talkers. He just keeps talking and talking and talking. And the past couple of days is the quietest I've ever heard him. I mean, not a peep. You could hear a pin drop when he's in the room. Whereas usually, it's just non-stop talking about anything that pops in his head. And here I am, here I am trying to figure out that skill so I can do it here. And he just does it naturally. Maybe I should invite him over and let him talk while I draw. I don't know if that's cheating or not. To have somebody else do the talking. Yeah, I think that's cheating. I'd rather do the talking. I can figure out something to say. It's not that hard. And y'all are nice to talk to. I mean, I get responses once in a while. Not very conversational. I mean, just sitting here by myself. Just doodling away. Talking to myself. Ah, lordy, lordy, lordy. Who's turning 40? Anybody watching um, Star Trek Discovery? That is turning into, like, my favorite show ever. It's so scientific, and it has so many cool twists and turns in it. It's like a freaking roller coaster. And now they found Spock, and they went to this other planet, and all this cool stuff is happening, and I can't wait for next week to see how it goes. So, yeah. It's 
Spock, one of my favorite characters, one of everybody's favorite characters. He's just so cool. Um, hmm. So, um, the other, a few weeks ago, I was watching YouTube, and in my recommendation list was this guy. He's a, a gamer. I follow a lot of games. I like playing games. And this one guy popped up. His name is Stoic. So I started watching him, and I kid you not, he literally sounds just like me. Like, my voice is doing something different than what I'm doing. And I couldn't stop watching him. It was so bizarre and creepy. I mean, it really gave me, like, the weebie-jeebies down my spine watching the video. It was so weird. Anyway, um, about three days ago, he posted a video. It was just, like, a little two-minute video of him talking to his community. And he's telling them that he's not going to be posting anything for a little while because it's Lent and he's really really busy this time of year because he's in the ministry and as soon as he said that the first thing I thought was oh he's in the ministry just like Harry Potter and the reason I thought that there's there's a reason for it is because you know check this out look at this guy He looks like an adorable little wizard person. I just want to scrunch him up and put him in my infinity purse. Just like Hamayathan did. So anyways, you've got to check him out. I'm going to put a link up to his website. And you check him out. And tell me if he does not sound exactly like me. I mean, if you like my voice, you'll probably really like his. And he's really nice. But yeah, he's a, it's a little creepy listening to him talk. Um, what else? Alright, well, I'm going to stop here for a bit, and I will return to this later, because I'm running out of things to say. Um, check you out later. I'm back. I went and got my phone. And, because I wanted to see what that girl's name was. Uh, but her name is Billy Alish. And she is, she writes music. Eh, crap. This pen is hard to use. Um, she's a musician. She sings. And apparently she is really popular. I've never heard it before, so I'm assuming she's popular with the kids, because she is like 20-something. So she's on YouTube, and she's doing an interview at a table with this guy, and they're putting hot sauce on pieces of bread, and each hot sauce gets hotter and hotter and hotter. And she's like totally taking it and digging it, and it's no big deal. But while they're eating it, He's asking her questions and talking to her, and I kid you not, this girl is just cursing up a storm. I mean, way more cursing than I like to hear in peacetime. And it, and I know she's smart, and I know she's not <clears throat> meaning to be rude, that's just her vernacular, but it came across as she just really didn't have any respect for the person that she's sitting at the table with because he wasn't cursing he was doing a proper interview and being kind and nice and she's just couldn't say a single sentence without a curse word in it and it just made her look 
rude and kind of dumb. And I know she's not because she writes lyrics and songs and she knows how to put words together so they sound nice. She just, for whatever reason, didn't do it and it just, it made her look and seem extremely disrespectful to the people around her. So, girl, if you ever watch this, stop cursing. I mean, there are better words you can use. Anyway, I think that's all I really wanted to say right now. I'm really having fun drawing. I don't really want to stop, but I'm running out of stuff to say. And I wasn't even supposed to start doing this until... When's my next day off? Tuesday. Today is Saturday. But I'm having fun. So I'm going to try and think of something else to say. Make this video a little bit longer. Um, gosh, can I think of anything else? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to draw for a little bit and see what pops into my head. So... Well, I can't do that, because that's boring. I gotta keep talking, because my voice is cool. And ugh, drawing with this pen, I don't like it. It's like, it's straight up ink, and it's getting all over my hand. I mean, you can see it, boom, and it's smearing everywhere. I don't know how to get over, how to do around everything. Okay, I'm going to connect these dots. So that would be neat. So it doesn't look like they're just drifting in space. And <clears throat> let's do something whimsical. And I get, because I'm really trying hard not to turn the the paper like I normally would so I can keep it the way it should be so you can watch it so I'm drawing like a left-handed person <laughs> it's weird boom totally looking forward to the swimming pool getting warmer so I can go outside and have a good time and I think, uh, Lord, Lord have mercy. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. An eyeball. Why not? Eyeballs are cool and kind of spooky. Circle there, color it in, because that's the iris. Mm. What else? I need something else to talk about. Hmm. If any of y'all can come up with subjects that I could like do a little bit of research on and figure out what to say, because you don't want any things to say really quick. Trying to fill up a whole hour. Okay, this. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta talk to you about stuff. I don't know. I don't even know. Let's give him something to talk about. A little mystery to figure out. Talk about love. Okay. Let's talk about love. What does anybody know about it? I know it feels good, but I also know love is a decision. It's not just feelings. Because feelings fade. You have to make a decision to love or not to love. And then do your damnedest to try to stick to it 
even though the person you're trying to love is going to make it as difficult as possible to stick to that decision. As anybody knows that's ever been in a relationship, love is difficult. And boom, 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 boom. What else to do? I'm going to color that in. And I think, I don't know how long I've been drawing. But I'm going to take a little break. And I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Just took a little break. Went and walked around right outside. So there is a art exhibit coming up called Inside Out in my area next month. Uh, it is by an artist called Hiromi Monaheim. And she does this these amazing just straight line drawings but then she cuts out all the lines of the paper so it's just a black paper and it's so intricate but it's just paper with holes cut in it and it it just looks so amazing so if you want to you can look her up or maybe I could put a link up I don't really know how to do that you spell her name H I R O M I. Dang it, I lost it. It's on my phone. M O N E Y H U M. And she is coming to my city, and I am dying to see the exhibit. It's absolutely breathtaking that she does this incredibly intricate line work, and it's not lines. It's just paper that she cut holes in. I don't know how she does it. Girl, you're amazing. Love you. I knew how to do that. But that takes a long time. This right here, this is, this is pretty straightforward and easy. Ba-boom. Ba-boom. I've really got to learn how to... I need something to cover my palm of my hand so I'm not smearing all of this ink everywhere. This is wet. There's some wet ink coming out of this thing. Boom, 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 boom. La, 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 la. I love to draw, I love to draw, just drawing stuff, don't know what. Um. <clears throat> Keep talking. Keep talking about stuff, Trevor. Um, I don't know. I don't know, the weather's beautiful, I already talked about that. Um, uh, I want to put something like this here. Don't know why. Just think I should. I really am hoping I get better at conversation. Maybe if I did more research. But it's hard to draw and look at something to read. I have to just do it off the top of my head. I don't have enough crap in my head to keep talking and talking and talking. Does anybody like to cook? I hate cooking. I Everything I buy is either sandwiches or something to stick in the microwave, like one of those little meals. Healthy choice. Those are my favorite ones. They don't cost too much, and they don't 
make me bloated after I eat them or give me gas. Shouldn't talk about gas. That's gross. But it's true. I've tried other ones and after I eat them, I feel like crap. Except for healthy choice. Which is just basically vegetables and meat or whatever. Flash frozen and then boom. Just give it to you. They're not so bad. They're a nice portion. Jeez, I'm talking about that. Can I talk about anything more interesting than that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What else? Um. anything else to say. Does that mean I have to stop drawing? Because I can't think of anything to say? Because I don't want to. And I don't want to do a whole bunch of drawing and then try to narrate it later. It just sounds kind of boring. And work. It sounds like a lot of work to do this twice. I'd rather just get the talking and the drawing out of the way at the same time. Just gotta learn how to do it. Beep. Uh, what? Lilla, lilla. I wanna put something right here. Maybe a leaf. The leaves are easy. Oh, here's some crappy news. I went on Facebook because I was going to go out to lunch the other day. And I invited anybody. Anybody come on out, have a beer with me and a sandwich around 4 o'clock at a little bar or restaurant that I like. And out of the 2,000 people that I have on Facebook, not a single one came out. I almost couldn't finish my ciabatta borzum, but I did. Yeah, Facebook can be quite cruel sometimes. But I manned up. I didn't get upset. Just drank my drink and ate my food. Checked out the people around me because some of them are pretty good looking. And went about my day. It's not Facebook's fault. They didn't do anything wrong. And coloring in this space. Boom, 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 boom. La, 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 la. So who likes Madonna? I love Madonna. I grew up with Madonna. When I was at an age where I could start going out and to the clubs and hang out with friends, Madonna was freaking everywhere. Every club was playing her, all of her songs. And that was like in the 90s. That was fun. Now you go out to the clubs. <laughs> I go out once in a while. <laughs> I have no idea what this music is. It's like, who are these people? What is this awful music? You can't even dance to it. It's so fast. Well, I probably could when I was younger, but now that I'm older, it's like, man, my hips and my spine do not move that fast anymore. It's just not gonna happen. But I try. I wanna be cool. And who doesn't? Boom, boom, boom. And I think I'm going to stop there for today. I mean, today was a, a one-off. I just was really into this drawing, and I wanted to keep drawing and make a video of it. But I will do a much better job on my day off, which is Tuesday, in like two more days. 
We're nice and relaxed. I just got home from work and I'm kind of not relaxed yet. So, you guys, you, all of you on the camera, blah, 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 blah. you guys have a good day and talk to you later.